Hi, uh, we're back. We, we made another video on an Osprey helicopter that we built, and in the video we kind of showed um, our ship the, uh, we built. The Osprey video was the first uh, YouTube video we did, and we wanted to definitely do one of our ship here also, um, so we could share it with you guys. And as you can see here, it's a pretty large ship. We have a little Lego man here, and I'll kind of hold him up to the camera, and then we can go ahead and put him back on the front of the ship here. And you can see it's pretty large. I'll go ahead and spin it around. Just to give you an idea and what we'll do is we'll actually show you a lot of the stuff we built into this ship we have a working crane we have boats that you can lower and raise uh, into the water there's a full interior in the superstructure of the ship um, all types of different little neat features here we have a ramp um, we have a front ramp we have uh, um, quite a bit of things that we built into it. So um, one of the things that's unique about the ship is it's a landing ship and normally landing ships what happens is they go into shallow water so they have a flat bottom and they also can roll up onto a beach and as they're maybe rolling up onto the beach they drop an anchor and that's how they kind of pull themselves back off the beach when they reverse their engine. So uh, we actually built quite a few vehicles to stick in here and I can kind of give you an idea. I'm going to go ahead and we have a clip here that helps us lower the front ramp kind of hard to see but there's a front ramp there and I can kind of reach in here and pull out um, we built these little uh, vehicles this one's a little track vehicle we'll do a, a video on these here maybe a little later if anybody's interested in seeing them um, go ahead and reach back in here again and I have another one here so I kind of pull that out then on this side we actually have a vehicle that has a little trailer on it um, you can pull it out here and you're right off here. Let's stick these over here. Okay, so you're probably wondering, or maybe you're not wondering, but we have this in the front of the ship here. There's this kind of weird uh, contraption, and what this is actually is it's a ramp. It unfolds, and if we wanted to put cars or vehicles on the top of the ship, what we can do is go ahead and unfold this ramp, and it actually folds out, and it attaches basically to the ship, and something can drive up onto the ship here. And then what we did is we actually made this so you can move. So one of the other unique features that we built into the ship here is we actually have a ramp. So if something wanted to drive up and then drive down into the ship, uh, this piece over here actually moves. Go ahead and move this and bring this back a little bit here. And we have a kitty on the table. There's two little clips in here and if we pull these clips forward uh, this ramp will drop down. So you can kind of see here, and I'm going to move the camera up and over, you can see there's a ramp there. And so what we can actually do uh, is we can bring in a vehicle here, and uh, this can move, so you can basically drive the vehicle, if you can see here, drive it up, and then it will actually go down into the superstructure of the ship here. And uh, you can fold the uh, ramp back up, drive more vehicles up if you want to, and then we usually stow it over here on the left side. Um, on the interior, I'm going to go ahead and open up. We have, to, to get in, you can open up most of the panels here, and if you can see, uh, we've, we've made a space in here so you can turn the vehicles around, um, however you want to do it in there, and uh, it fits, fits about four to six vehicles depending on their size. So. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and, while I have this here, I'm going to put the ramp back up, and then I'm going to try and aim the ship at the camera here um, so you can see what it looks like inside and see if we can do this here and a little light but you can kind of see there's a vehicle in the back there and uh, what we'll do is we'll do a second video where we get close-ups on a lot of the a lot of the smaller features here because it's really hard to show um, zoom in with the camera because the ship's so large okay so I'm gonna go ahead and shut these doors here and again they just open and close and so my son plays with it if he wants to move his cars around or move things around in there, he can lift those open. So, quite a other few unique features on the boat here. Um, one of the things that we have here, and this is kind of a big, big uh, flat piece here, but what it actually is, is it's a landing ship. And so, um, we've kind of built a boat lift onto it, and it lifts the boat up and out of the water, so you can bring it up and you can stow it. And what can be done with this is, if you wanted to, we can go ahead and lift that up put that away and you can kind of see the size of the landing ship here. I stuck a, stuck a guy in here. It's, it's pretty large also. Um, as we can turn this around and you can actually pull the landing ship up to the front, the landing boat I guess, up to the front here. 
get this front door open and you can drive you know, if, if you were to say you're at sea you could drive um, the vehicle directly from the uh, from the landing ship onto the, the landing craft here would be the, what we call it here and then pull that around and, and go in so I'm going to put this over here for now leave us some space uh, other features on the boat um, we also have quite a few doors on the side here so um, these open and close so you can if you wanted to drive a boat up and load this one here um, goes up and down and so if you can again drive the boat up and you can um, load onto it from there so we'll go ahead and leave those open uh, on the back of the boat um, you can see here we have we have quite a bit of space up here and again we'll do a we'll do a more detailed video a short one just just getting some interior shots but um, most of the, we have access to most everything here so this back door opens here and we have some beds in there um, and a few other things on the top um, on the bridge uh, this actually goes down and these move up and we can get access to the bridge and I'll kind of bring the camera up and over here so you can see um, we did add some detail to the interior there's some uh, I guess things you would find in a ship um, you know, radar things like that so quite a bit of space up there so go ahead and move this camera back over uh, on the right side of the ship I'm going to go ahead and close these real quick here uh, we have we have more uh, more access to the different areas. So down here on the bottom, and I think it's kind of hard to see on the camera, uh, is there's a door here we can get down here, and then also up here we have like a little galley area. You can see there's a person kind of sitting in here at the table here. So uh, like I said, lots of lots of little little things we could do. So when my son is playing with it, he could get inside and move things around without without breaking stuff. We also have in the back here uh, the doors open up, so we have two. Uh, back areas of the ship and we have the both of those open up so we have some bunks on this side over here uh, and then we have um, on the other side which is kind of open space so you can access the back part of the ship okay I'm gonna go ahead and shut those uh, we also have another boat back here on the lift and this one basically has a little hook on it so we just would lift up here and you can just kind of push it over and then this is actually I think a tow hook from something that we had we had bought and the, the boat can actually kind of take off and then um, move around do whatever it wants to do we have kind of a little dock door over here so this actually drops down and it, it kind of just sets still so it almost acts like a dock itself so a neat little feature we just tried to add a lot of stuff um, on it so he could he could play with it so and, and do things now one of the one of the really unique features um, on the ship is this crane here and this crane actually works it's fully functional it took us a lot of time to figure out how to get this to work and I'm gonna actually do a separate video on how we built it um, one of the things when you're trying to make a crane is you have to you have to really make it strong because if you if you lift weight on it it breaks and we did that through some different so some different design features here but I'll show you kind of how it works I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this back a little bit so we can kind of see and the boom is almost out of the picture there but I'll go ahead and put uh, put this on uh, the boom actually will lower and raise so on the left side here I can I can lower it if I have a little wheel here I'm spinning you can see it's kind of lowering and raising and then I can also raise and lower whatever we're trying to lift here and we can move it all around um, we'll go ahead and move this over and I can drop this right here in front of the camera uh, my son likes to drop things on his little landing boats go ahead and drop that down all the way and the um, crane actually can lift quite a bit um, without breaking um, we, we did some stress testing on it and um, um, you know it is a Lego crane but um, we can actually lift if we wanted to we have this boat here which weighs a lot more than those blocks I was doing and you'll see some bend here um, when we start lifting this up I'll move this over here but you'll see some bend um, but it's pretty strong so as, as we start bending here you can see it's going to start taking the slack off and up it up up it goes here and we can actually lift you see when you're lifting something heavy you got to kind of help the boom up a little bit um, so it's stable um, but we can start pulling this up once we get it up and we can actually get it all the way up to the top move it around where we need to move it around to so uh, kind of a unique feature if I want to drop it back over here on the top um, of the uh, ship here on the deck we can even lower the boom a little more and drop it down so the other unique feature we built um, into the crane 
was that if you're traveling on a ship, you don't usually want to have a crane uh, in the air moving around. So we actually can, can stow the crane here. And to do that, we basically just will move it over and I'll go ahead and pull in all the slack here. And I can drop it right, um, right into this little cradle we built here. And we'll get it here. And if you see, we'll get it down into the cradle. Um, we'll start lifting, I uh, missed it there, I'm going to go ahead and pull it back up a little bit and then get it back down to the cradle. We can start lifting the front of the boom up and then I'll go ahead and drop it. And this actually will pull right over the top here and as we tighten it, it's going to fall here, but then we can just go ahead and tighten it up so it's all tight and stowed away. And then of course we would uh, continue and we can stow, I can kind of show you here, stow you the, the boat again, just pull the boat up and again there's a little hook here. Um, we would go ahead and lift that up, put that in there. Um, same thing with the vehicles. We have, again, quite a few vehicles we can get onto the boat and stow away. We can push the front door, the, the bow door closed here, and then our landing craft. I'm going to grab that real quick. Uh, we'll go ahead and shut these doors also. This is our landing craft. And we'll go ahead and this we got to get it right so it doesn't flip up all the way over, but these go back in here and they just latch on. Make sure I got it angled right here. I got one and two, and I got those the cracks fall apart, and so we just pull that up and it goes closed and we're all ready to move out. So uh, we'll spin it around one more time here so you can get another look at it. And uh, again, we're going to do it. We'll do a couple more videos. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to get into detail on the crane. Like I said, we we looked all over YouTube to try and get help too when we were building it, and um, really didn't have a lot of luck um, as far as finding something with the intricacies of what we were trying to do. There was cranes, but you know, as far as lifting um, anything with a substantial weight, when we kind of did stuff off YouTube, they would break. I'm sure, there was some on there we just couldn't find that actually worked, but we thought our design was pretty unique. Um, go ahead and spin this over here a little bit. And then we'll also um, do a video on our, um, our vehicles. And I said the other video we did so far was we had built kind of an Osprey-like aircraft. Um, and you can see we did a video on that. But it's in a, in a folded up position right now. And the reason we made the wings and the tail and everything foldable was so we could stow it on our ship um, and use it to take off. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, we plan on doing a, a few more videos. We built a lot of stuff and it's been sitting um, in my son's room and uh, we definitely wanted to kind of share. We thought it was kind of unique, um, the stuff we built, wanted to share it. And then he kind of has plans to build some more stuff, but we got to tear this stuff down first because we only have so many Legos, but we wanted to kind of capture it and share it before we did that. Thank you so much for watching.